Welcome back to Soil and Crop Central. Today we're talking about the superstar of the summer vegetable patch, the tomato. Juicy, sun-kissed, and full of flavor, tomatoes are a staple in most home gardens, and for good reason. But here's the thing most gardeners don't realize. If you're not using companion planting, you're missing out on one of the most effective, low-effort ways to boost your tomato yields, improve soil health, and fight off pests naturally. Forget the old wives' tales. This video isn't about folklore. Whether you're planting in raised beds, containers, or in the ground, these combinations are based on real horticultural science, not myths. So if you're looking to transform your tomato garden from good to exceptional, keep watching. Time improves pest resistance and soil health. Let's start with time, one of the most underappreciated companions for tomatoes. University-led studies have shown that thyme emits aromatic compounds that confuse and repel destructive pests like armyworms. Beyond its pest-repelling properties, thyme acts as a living mulch. Its low-growing, mounding form helps suppress weeds and retain soil moisture, all while being incredibly kitchen-friendly. Imagine harvesting thyme right next to your tomatoes, fresh for sauces, soups, or a quick caprese upgrade. Nasturtiums attract pests away from tomatoes. Often called a trap crop, nasturtiums lure aphids and whiteflies away from your precious tomatoes. This isn't just anecdotal, it's a tactic supported by integrated pest management research. Aphids prefer nasturtiums so strongly that they'll bypass your tomato plants entirely. These cheerful edible flowers aren't just beautiful, they're biological decoys. Once established, especially in warmer zones, nasturtiums often reseed themselves, providing season-after-season season protection with minimal effort. French marigolds suppress root nematodes. Not all marigolds are created equal. If you're serious about keeping root-knot nematodes at bay, opt for the French marigold, particularly varieties like Naughty Marietta. These plants release compounds from their roots known as exudates that naturally suppress nematode populations. At the same time, they attract beneficial insects like ladybugs and lacewings. Avoid the signet marigold near tomatoes though, it has been shown to interfere with growth in ways that aren't fully understood. Cowpeas reduce stink bug infestations. If stink bugs have been plaguing your tomato crop, cowpeas might just be your solution. Research shows these bugs prefer cowpeas to tomatoes, which makes them a great border plant to draw pests away. Because stink bugs are strong flyers, it's wise to plant cowpeas a few feet away from your tomato rows. Bonus cowpeas are drought tolerant and thrive in the heat, perfect for a set it and forget it pest diversion. Radishes deter flea beetles on young tomatoes. Young tomato seedlings are particularly vulnerable to flea beetles, and this is where radishes come in. Fast growing radish varieties like Cherry Bell and French Breakfast act as sacrificial hosts. The beetles go for the radishes first, leaving your tomatoes unscathed. Plus, radishes mature quickly. Even if they get nibbled, you can harvest in under 30 days, and you'll still benefit from their pest-deterring qualities. Collards serve as a magnet for harlequin bugs. If you're dealing with harlequin bugs, especially in southern climates, collards are your go-to decoy. These leafy greens don't affect tomato growth and can be grown almost year-round. Harlequin bugs are strongly attracted to them, so planting a few on the north side of your tomato bed can keep the pest pressure away from your main crop. With a little shading from your tomato canopy, collards thrive even in the summer heat. Basil masks tomato scent and improves pollination. Everyone knows basil and tomato are perfect partners in the kitchen, but they're also power companions in the garden. Studies suggest that basil's intense aroma helps mask the scent of tomato plants, making them less attractive to insect pests like whiteflies. And if you choose varieties like Genovese Petra, which is a striking purple basil, or lettuce leaf basil, you get added culinary diversity alongside garden benefits. This is one pairing that's as effective as it is iconic. Fennel and dill attract beneficial predators. While you shouldn't plant fennel or dill directly beside your tomatoes, having them nearby can make a world of difference. 
Their umbrella-shaped flower heads are magnets for hoverflies, parasitic wasps, and other beneficial insects. These are the natural predators of tomato pests like aphids and caterpillars. Just be sure to keep them a few feet away, since mature fennel in particular can inhibit the growth of surrounding plants through allelopathy. Sweet marjoram and oregano encourage predatory wasps. These Mediterranean herbs bloom prolifically and attract parasitoid wasps, which are incredibly effective against tomato hornworms and caterpillar pests. As with other herbs, the trick is to let a few stalks go to flower. While you might lose some fresh herb leaves in the process, what you gain in pest control is well worth it. Plus, the flowers make the garden more attractive and fragrant. Cilantro supports ladybugs and hoverflies. Cilantro flowers offer a rich nectar source for beneficial insects, including ladybugs and hoverflies. These are critical in controlling aphid populations. Because cilantro bolts quickly in the heat, plant it behind your tomatoes on the north side of the bed. Sweet alyssum feeds parasitic wasps and hoverflies. Few plants punch above their weight in the garden like sweet alyssum. These low-growing flowers exude a honey-like fragrance and draw in tiny predatory wasps that lay their eggs inside pests like tomato hornworms. The larvae hatch and consume the hornworms from the inside out, a bit grim but a natural and effective form of control. Alyssum doesn't compete with tomato roots making it an ideal underplanting. Sunflowers attract pollinators and buzz pollinate. Although tomatoes are self-pollinating, studies show that buzz pollination facilitated by bumblebees significantly increases fruit set. Sunflowers are excellent at attracting bumblebees, and their height adds structure and visual impact to the garden. They also act as trap crops for leaf-footed bugs and stink bugs keeping those pests away from your tomato vines. Bachelor buttons bring in more bees. Blue and purple flowers are known to be particularly attractive to pollinators, and bachelor buttons do this job beautifully. Their long-lasting blooms enhance biodiversity and support pollination. Fava beans fix nitrogen for next season's tomatoes. If you're thinking long-term, fava beans are one of the best winter cover crops for tomato growers. Their deep roots fix atmospheric nitrogen into the soil. Crimson clover builds fertility naturally. Crimson clover is another excellent nitrogen-fixing cover crop. It can be planted densely and then partially cleared when you're ready to transplant tomatoes. The result is a living mulch system that continues to enrich the soil while reducing weed competition. Its vibrant red flowers are also pollinator-friendly, making it a win-win for garden ecosystems. Winter rye and oats suppress weeds and build mulch. If you're battling weed pressure or trying to improve soil structure, rye and oats are your best cover crop allies. Mustard eliminates soil-borne disease threats. If you've had issues with soil-borne pathogens or nematodes, mustard cover crops are a must. Mustard roots release glucosinolates, compounds that suppress fungi and nematodes as they decompose. Work the mustard into the soil a few weeks before tomato planting for the best results. It's an organic solution to some of the most persistent tomato problems. So there you have it. 17 powerful companion plants that can transform the way you grow tomatoes. Whether you're aiming to fend off pests, boost pollination, improve soil fertility, or simply grow a more biodiverse garden, these plants work with your tomatoes to make the entire system stronger, healthier, and more productive. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to subscribe to Soil and Crop Central and share this video with your gardening friends. We're here to help you grow smarter, grow healthier, and grow with science. Until next time, happy gardening!